hello Scorpio how are you all doing hope you guys are doing well please remember to like share and subscribe to the video leave a comment if this uh, reading resonates for you let's see what messages come through for you guys at this time my allergies are clowning today so please excuse me if I have to stop and sneeze I got my Kleenex right next to me like, ooh, this mode count is on 10 today. Okay, let's see where this is going. so far yes so a relationship is transforming definitely I'm gonna tell you what someone is transforming their attitude towards you you know why because you're no longer putting up with what you used to in the past I'm getting there's a major transformation in your ad in your attitude in general you're a transformed person so let's say someone from the past is coming back towards you because that's why I'm picking up here. When they meet you, they're meeting someone different. You are not the same person. I don't even get like you even connect with the person you used to be in the past. Like you, it, you can't even... resonate with that person anymore it's hard for you to even reflect back and understand where you were coming from at that time and place anymore but you can get like an understanding or you can like get give an understanding if you have to but there is like there's a relationship that is evolving due to someone finally taking action here. There's cooperation in a relationship. Someone is definitely, I'm getting that this person, like they're learning to appreciate you and it's because you're demanding respect. I'm getting that like you didn't respect yourself in the past. Your attitude towards yourself is entirely different now. You view yourself differently now. And so it's changing the way you view relationships, what you're putting up with. I'm getting this like this person's attitude is so different towards you. So it's like in the past, like this person sort of treated you like you weren't worth their time. Like they didn't treat you like you were a priority towards them. And now they're like very kind and patient towards you. You're their num number one priority. And now it's like they're not your priority anymore. They're very compassionate towards you. But you, it, it's like you just don't tolerate what you used to anymore. Uh, you guys don't tolerate much at all if you tolerate anything. And I'm getting that. It's like you guys have come across a very compassionate lover here. So it's like when this person comes back around, some of you guys could already be in love with someone else here, but let's see. Because I'm getting there's this major transformation. Some of you guys could have like a physical transformation here. So it's like whether it's like you guys have been working out. You're looking good. You're feeling good. It's like a whole new attitude here.
Yeah, I'm getting, I got a new attitude. My little baby life made me. <laughs> There's some sexual tension here. Someone's been patiently waiting. Cause there's some sexual tension here, and this pa this this person has been patiently waiting. They're wondering, do they still have a chance because they want you back? They miss being with you. person is like okay so the reason why this person is not reaching out this person is so afraid of reaching out they they need a sense of security before they reach out meaning they need some sort of sign that you are still interested in them before they reach out because they are so afraid of being heartbroken. They are so afraid of their ego being bruised here. So it's like, what's stopping this person from reaching out is you rejecting them. And I'm getting this like, y'all are like, boy, bye or girl, bye. It's like, if, if that's what's stopping you, then go on about your merry way, okay? Because y'all are over that sort of nonsense. It's like that is the exact type of energy that you guys are releasing out of your life. It's like if you're so insecure about being rejected yet you can easily reject the next person, then go on about your way. Because this person is like they're so concerned that you don't feel the same way about them, yet they're constantly fantasizing about you. I'm getting that this person even spies on you as well. So it's like they're spying on you. They're constantly watching you and thinking about you, mesmerizing about you, yet they refuse to even say anything. And it's just so childish. It's just so silly. It's like, instead of being with the person that you, you adore and you want to be with, it's, instead of doing something about it, you're just going to stalk them. So it's like they're going to continue to do this until the day comes where it's nothing they can do about it because you're going to be in a happy, committed relationship with someone that treats you the way you deserve to be treated because that's what you guys are manifesting in your life. Because it's like the attitude that you guys are taking on is attracting the right type of person in your life and it's removing this type of energy out of it. I miss seeing you. This is too much. I want you back so badly. This person is just... I'm sorry. I'm like, I may talk funny right now because I have a cough drop to like open up my nasal pack passages because they with my allergies I'm trying to see if I wanted to do this deck next yes I do Some people will just let a good thing, but you know what? It's all meant to be. That's it. It's like once you get to that place where it's like, you know what? It's all good. It's just, it's not meant to be. That's when you open the doors for much better. But when you're still in that energy where you're frustrated because someone is not taking action and you feel like you're the one that's missing that opportunity, you're not there yet. But when you're like, it's all good. It's not meant to be. 
that's when you're where you're supposed to be. I'm getting like the energy that I'm picking up from you, Scorpio. You're right where you're supposed to be. Oh, you guys do not see. You're walking straight towards your happiness here. You're walking straight into your happiness. And you don't even see it yet. You're about to end up in a happy, committed relationship with someone that you don't know or you just don't see this coming yet, but you're about to be emotionally fulfilled here. Cause some of you guys, you're walking straight into this, but it's like right now you're alone, you're single, you're on your own. And it's like, it's dark times right now. It's like a little light, there's like a little glimpse of hope here. But then you're walking straight into some, it, it's like all of a sudden, all of these good times just come into your life and it's like all of this happiness just hits you all of the sudden. But it's also, it's like your ancestors are guiding you into this. It's like you're being washed over by some people that have passed on. They're guiding you towards this. Some of you guys will end up having a child too with someone here that you meet very shortly. You're, you know what? And the the connection that you're coming into, you won't feel stuck in your head. I'm getting that it's like you guys have trust issues and you have good reasons to have trust issues. The thing that I'm getting is that you have gotten to this point where it's like every time you feel like you're going to let your guard down and you open yourself up, you get disappointed again. So now you got to a point where it's like, I'm not going to let my guard down. I'm not going to do it because every time I let my guard down, I, I'm disappointed and I find out that I should have never let my guard down. So I'm not going to do it again. But the person that you're going, you're about to meet or the person you're about to end up with is going to prove to you that it's okay to let your guard down. So you're going to feel safe and you're going to feel free to let your guard down. You're going to feel fine. You're not going to be trapped inside your head. It's going to be safe for you to get out of your head. You're going to feel safe and free to trust this person. Yeah, you're going to feel safe to let go of your fears here. You'll feel safe to, uh, to trust this person, to release your fears, to open yourself up to this person, to get out of your head. Because I'm getting that you guys are. You have a tendency to be all up in your head, to think the worst, to let your fears get the best of you, but not with this person. This person is going to get you out of your head to get you out of that fear zone that you tend to get trapped in. To think the worst of things. You're not going to be that way with this person. They're going to set you free of that. It's like some of you guys even like some childhood trauma issues here that um, are like the root cause of these fears that you guys have been holding on to. And this person, you're going to feel safe to even open yourself up regarding those issues to, uh, to this person in order to like move forward so that you can have a happy life from here on. Because you're going to be very happy. You don't see this though, but you're about to be very happy. You're going to live a happy life, Scorpio. You're about to live a very happy life, a blessed life that is well-deserved. You deserve this life. And that's what you need to know, that you deserve to live a blessed, happy life. So don't tell yourself that you don't. If someone has ever told you that you don't deserve to live a blessed life, and it's been stuck in your subconscious here, so you've been subconsciously attracting a bad life, it's time for you to release that. And that's what you're doing. You're releasing these uh, fearful thoughts holding yourself back. You're releasing that. You're breaking that cycle. That's what this person is helping you do. Embracing a new beginning here. So 
some of you guys, like a lot of your family members, they don't have a history of long marriage or even marriage at all. something trying to block this energy so some of you guys need to make sure you're doing things on the regular to cleanse your energy because you could have people around you or just people that have been around you or just it, I don't know what it is but it's like you just attract jealous people people that don't want to see you progress um, there's something here because it, it's like as I'm trying to do this reading, it's like I keep, uh, it's like resistance here. So it's not that your resistance, I'm getting that it's just some sort of blockage that you keep coming up. Um, there's some sort of blockage here that it's like people keep setting along your path. And as jealousy, you attract people that are jealous of you. So you need to make sure that you're constantly, you have to constantly do things. And the thing is, you have to, you have to be strict on yourself. You have to like keep a strict uh, schedule, a strict diet. You have to get out in nature, keep your energy clear. Um, do salt water baths, do things to keep yourself um, clear minded, healthy, because it's like you constantly are being like under attack. It's like people trying to throw you off course here. And you have like your spirit guides constantly coming to your defense, but you also have to fight for yourself as well. Know that you are worthy of yourself fighting for yourself. I don't know why I just started to think of this movie. Okay. Um, and I can't even think of the name of the movie. The big, um, Bambino. What is it? So the movie is about like these young boys that play baseball. So it's about this uh, guy. He's telling a story about when he was younger. He moved into a neighborhood and he met a group of boys and they all played baseball together. So one day when they were playing baseball, the baseball flew over into this jar where it was a dog. And they made up a story like the dog was this gigantic dog that could eat people. And like he had to go over and get the ball, but then it turned out the, uh, the dog was just a big old friendly dog. You know, I'm trying to think, oh my gosh, what is the name of that movie? And I watched it all the time. It'll come to me. <laughs> but I don't know why that's coming up. Some of you guys, like, you you play baseball since you were a child. Like, baseball is significant to you. That movie may be significant to you. Um, why? I'm, and, like, what I'm getting, like, what I'm envisioning is, 
like this part during the movie forever. Like when the kid is in the movie and he's saying, oh my God. He's in like, cause they go all in and he's forever. Oh my gosh. What is the name of that movie? Why is that significant? Like why is forever? It'll come to me. Why is forever being emphasized right now? And what is the name of that movie? The Babe. Cause like Babe Ruth was significant in that movie. Some of you guys know just by me bringing this up, what that movie is, but I cannot think of it right now, the title of the movie, but it was such a good movie. If you're like an 80s baby, you know what that movie is. You know what, Scorpio, here's the issue. Some of you guys try to love somebody, this person, it's not that they were unlovable. This person that you guys were trying to, it's like the person you guys were trying to love and nurture on, this person, like this is the best way I can put it. They really did have a big heart, okay? But they were battling with something really strong here. They were battling some strong demons here. And they just gave in to their demons, okay? They loved you, but they didn't feel like they were strong enough to defeat the demons that they were battling. I don't like to use the term demons because like when I use the term demons, like I use it very lightly and like other people use it like in a more darker sense. So I try to remind myself to be careful about using it because I don't try to, I'm, like, I know some people use it in a darker sense, so I have to think of a different term to use. Um, so I apologize. Because when I use demons, it could be like alcohol, it could be just, you know, vices. And... This person, they shut you out. They shut you out. They didn't give you any rhyme or reason why they shut you out. And it, it's just like, you didn't understand like why, what happened? And you knew that this person loves you. You knew that there was love there and you didn't quite understand why they shut you out. And it really hurts you to the core, like the fact that this person just didn't give you any explanation.
they didn't fight for this. I'm like, what I'm getting, you felt like there was more people involved and I'm saying that there was more people involved. This is the message that I'm getting strongly. Um, your rejection was God's protection. So this person rejecting you was God's protection because you didn't really see, like you saw the beauty in this person, you didn't see the beast. And it was some darkness that you overlooked because you refused to see it because you truly loved this person and God was protecting you from what was they were God was protecting you from so it's like you may feel like it was some people getting involved between you and this person and God made these people interfere in this connection to protect you so that's what I'm getting so you may feel like this person didn't fight for this connection when truly um, it's just they weren't meant to because it was to protect you. I'm saying some of you guys like it's like this person it's like some of you guys may even be single parents as well. And it's like, although it may be difficult difficult for you at this time, you don't see how good things are about to turn around for you. It's like someone watched you struggle. It's like they, they're spying, spying on you and they're about to watch you. They're about to watch things turn around in your life. And you guys are about to live an amazing life. Like, you don't even see this. You don't see this coming. They don't, nobody see this coming. Maybe, I don't, it's, it's like, I don't, I don't know. Maybe someone see, like people see this about like developing, but it's like, you're definitely trying to juggle a lot in your life. You're working hard. It's like there's a lot of stress right now, but you're making it happen. You refuse to give up. You know that your hard work is going to pay off. And it's like if you're a single parent, you're definitely doing this for your, your child, your children, because you know you can't fail. You can't let them see you sweat. And you definitely don't want your child to go without. And it's like the fact that someone could watch you struggle and not try to offer a helping hand, that says enough. Someone definitely sees you as a full package. They want to offer you love and stability here. Things are definitely about to get better for you. If, if you're a single parent, I definitely see you guys moving towards a lot of happiness and stability here. You're definitely moving in the right direction. Okay. triumph and success so i'm getting that you guys are about to come out on top there is a new beginning 
that is about to take place in your life. So if you guys are aiming for success, a successful new beginning in your life, I am getting career for you guys. I'm not getting love with this right now, with this card. I'm getting success and career for this. So if you guys are working hard towards something, some of you guys have started a new job and there's a lot of success in this, but some of you guys are also working towards your own uh, career, your own business, entrepreneurship, and there is a lot of success in this. Now, some of you guys will see like your career taking off like within a month here, like things picking up great speed here because with this being sword energy this is taking off pretty fast but this is not for someone like you just started like I'm, I'm not talking about you just started today because you heard this no this is someone who has been working at this for several months now and it's like things have been kind of up and down and it's like it's picking up slow down picking up slow and it's like whoosh now everything so it's like you've been getting prepared but it's like you have to be prepared because when the business picks up you have to be able to keep up with the speed some of y'all may need to get help with your business you may need to have a legal team so it's like you need to be prepared for the success of your business Because this is knowledge. Sword energy is also knowledge as well. So know exactly what you need before you jump into something. Clarity. Knowledge is power. So it's like if you're not getting the education for it, make sure you have the team to back you up. Oh, someone is charging towards you. Some of you guys have a cancer charging towards you, wanting to clear the air with you. They want a success in a relationship. They're definitely taking action towards you. They're offering peace. They're bringing like a peace offering towards you. So an apology. So they did something to upset you. It doesn't have to be a cancer, but. This is someone that you feel like this person uh, broke your heart in a sense, uh, a sense. You know what? You guys are about to express how you feel like they broke your heart. They are about to express how they feel like you let them down. And so as you guys can clear the air and uh, clear, clear away some sort of conflict here. So as you guys can move past this. That's what they're coming towards you for. So as you guys can uh discuss some sort of conflict and heartache so that you guys can move forward they want to offer you stability they want to be there for you they feel like they know you need support in your life they feel like you don't have that stability in your life you need that stability and they know that they can be that for you. 
They want to be that for you. They want to be a shelter for you, like to be that shelter. They want to offer you shelter and security, like basic survival that everyone needs. So it's like shelter, security. It's like where you don't feel like you need to be guarded all the time. Like, if you had that, you wouldn't be guarded all the time. Like, that's what this person feels like they know. That if you felt safe and secure, you wouldn't feel guarded all the time. And they feel like they can offer you that. They can prove themselves to you. Yeah, this person is going to offer you a firm foundation here. They've been patiently planning this, but now things are about to pick up. The pace is about to pick up. And this is what you've been praying for. This person has been reminiscing about you and they feel like you're their soulmate. This is a destined connection. I'm not getting that this is someone you guys have been in a connection with. You guys may know this person. You could have recently met this person. Or you will be meeting this person. The chariot, again, some of you guys are definitely dealing with a cancer here. It came out again. This person is about to fight for this connection with the nine of uh, wands. With the page of cups, they're offering, and then the ace of water. They're offering an apology in order to have a new beginning. If this person doesn't have anything to apologize about, because here's the thing, someone is coming towards, so there's two scenarios here, Cancer. Some of you guys, someone is traveling towards you, but you have your guard up towards this person because you feel wounded by this person. Now, the thing is, this person will be apologizing. And they're apologizing in order to have a new beginning in love with you. Now, for the other half of you or the other Scorpios out there. There's someone traveling towards you that's fighting for this connection. This is a secret admirer who wants to have a new beginning in love with you. This is a new connection. Either way, you're going to be over overfilled with love in this connection with this person. It's going to be everything that you could imagine. You have the Ten of Cups and the Page of Pentacles. So this uh, new, re this is definitely uh, new energy. This is not someone you've been in a relationship with, but it has a lot of potential, even more than you could imagine. This is going to emotionally fulfill you. So this new relationship has a lot of potential. And you guys will know that. This person is very dependable. They're successful. And it's going to emotionally fulfill you. You're going to be very grateful to have this person in your life. You're going to know 
that this is the person that you're meant to be with. I'm getting that you guys are going to follow your uh, intuition on making the decision to be with this person. This person is coming into your life right on time. Because it's like they're going to help heal like your broken heart. It's like there's like a lot of pain. I'm getting that this person is overcoming as well. And then there's this passionate new beginning that the both of you are stepping into with each other. But this person finds you very attractive as well. But it's like because they find you highly attractive, they feel like there's a lot of people that um, want to be with you. So it's intimidating to this person. But they're taking their stand and they feel like they have a lot to offer you. Now, I'm getting that this person is good in the bedroom as well. If you guys have a child, this person is going to be great to your child as well. This person will prove themselves to you. They're not going to break your heart. They're not going to disappoint you. This is someone that's going to be loyal, dependable, and someone that you can trust and confide in here. So... I'm going to leave it there. These are the messages that came through for you guys at this time. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. I definitely appreciate all the love and support. And I send it right back to you guys. With that being said, you all take care.